Crossroads was a great, great event to be a part of. So, uh, put Indiana College basketball on that stage uh, nationally, and you should get games like that. And, uh, you know, obviously, we'd rather end on the other side of it uh, when the shot goes in uh, for us, and we've had those. Uh, tonight, the shot went in for them. So, it was a heck of a, heck of a, heck of a basketball game to watch, for sure. Hopefully, a ton of people tuned in. And, our guys have a lot of fight in them. I think it's two really good teams, two really good programs competing. Somebody's got to win. Uh, somebody's got to lose, unfortunately. Tonight, we're on the other side. Questions? I think we've got a microphone here. LaBelle, they, they were really scuffling there at the end of the final position. Did you feel with about a second or two left that you had them where you wanted them? Well, I think, you know, we figured Obviously, Morgan and, and uh, Langford, you know, and Juwan Morgan is a heck of a heck of a college basketball player. He, he competed, he wheeled in some shots, free throws. Uh, so we wanted to try to take those guys away, and we did. Uh, I've been telling our staff on film, you know, Tennessee has been as impressive as any guard I've seen. He's just, he's a poise, he's a tough kid. He ended up with it, and I thought we did a good job containing and, and didn't let uh, Langford get the ball. And, he in. Same thing, follow up on, on Morgan. I mean, what makes him so tough to guard? Well, if he's hitting threes, he's a, he's a real problem. We uh, you know how good he is inside, and, and um, you know, he, got, he got a lot of work done in there as well. Uh, but with he's making free throws, you know, he had a shot, he was 7 for 7 tonight, and then he stepped up and made threes when we were zoned in the corner. And, uh, I think it was just his competitive will. You know, you love having guys like that that have that about We have a few guys that. Step up and two of them are sitting right here with me. They'll step up and hit big shots. No matter how the game's going, Kamar Bowman hit a huge shot uh, down the stretch. So that's that's the beauty of this game. The guys, the guys do that, and that's why that's why people talk about him as a good player in the class that he's in. Yeah, Laval, had you uh, thought of using Jordan Tucker any more in the second half, or did you end up using him really about as much as? Maybe you thought, depending on the game involved. It just it was dependent on the game. I thought it, I thought Tuck did a good job, uh, just kind of letting it come to him when he got in early, not trying to do too much, and he was really locked in on the defensive end. And you know we, we struggled to stop him. They shot 52 percent, so he hasn't had the, the reps that these guys had defensively. Uh, so that was that played a big part in the decision in the second half. Uh, come on, I guess to ask uh, one same question that was asked about that last possession. I guess when you guys have him all the way out there and he's taking that shot, I mean, you feel pretty good about the de defensive possession you have to, to force him to make that thing. Uh, do you ask, I guess was, do, you, do you guys feel like the defensive possession was what you wanted basically on that last shot? And yeah, I would say so. You probably wanted to miss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would coach said, but uh, I think we did a good job. Not only the two main guys did it, but I uh, just not going to talk about yeah, <coughs> Sean, uh, maybe not fair to ask just in the few minutes after the game, but, but the uh, feel like Bulldogs even in defeat made, made progress in this game. I mean, you played, you know, 39 minutes and 59 seconds in the <coughs> tie game in the number 25 team. Um, yeah, I think we played played pretty well as a team. We stayed locked in. In the huddles, we were as connected as I think we've been all season. Um, guys were talking on the court, so. I thought overall we played a really good game and it came down to a final possession and the kid made a tough shot. Uh, one more about about uh, Butler had played pretty well on uh, defense in the games coming up to this. I guess you're, you think you were able to maintain that you know, Indiana's uh, field goal percentage and like that, you were deficient in that area because I know they all you also paid a lot of turnovers. Yeah, I think we, we you know, it was kind of the uh, either I, I always had a little either turn them over or they scored. Uh, so, yeah, obviously, um, you know, Morgan's a low down there, so you got to make some decisions whether you're going to double team or not. I thought the zone affected him some, and if he misses a couple of those threes that he made, you know, maybe maybe there's a different outcome to it. And so, uh, we've got to tighten some things up, no question about it, but. The competitive will that our guys showed up on was at a high, high level. I'll take one or two more if there are some. 
Seeing none. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.